Good morning. Today's lecture is about protein synthesis inhibitors. Protein synthesis inhibitors include tetracyclines, aminoglycosides, macrolides, clindamycin, zincomycin, chloramphenicol, and fusidic acid. To start with, tetracycline is highly effective against the kids here, gram positive and negative bacteria and chlamydia. It inhibits protein synthesis by reversibly binding to 30 S subunits of bacterial ribosome and thus preventing binding of amino acyl tRNA to mRNA ribosomal complex and thus inhibits protein synthesis. As you know from your previous study, the ribosome is the site for protein synthesis, and thus the, these antibiotics uh, they prevent protein synthesis uh, for the bacteria. The resistance for tetracycline is wide and highly prevalent. And thus, the clinical uses for this antibiotic are limited. Uh, Zetracycline resistant strains uh, are usually susceptible to minocycline, which is, uh, uh, again, uh, another uh, kind of uh, the uh, uh, or, or let's say it is very closely related to tetracycline. The absorption uh, from the GIT is incomplete. Uh, tetracycline is about 60 to 80 percent, while doxycycline 95 percent, minocycline is 100 percent. Diary foods decrease absorption by forming non absorbable chelates with calcium ions, also magnesium, iron, and aluminium that comes in antacids. If you have uh, studied antacid before, you may know that aluminum is an important ingredient in antacids. To avoid antacids, to avoid dairy products, tetracycline inhibit vitamin K producing intestinal flora. Thus, can potentiate anticoagulant effects of warfarin. But in other interactions, digoxin increases toxicity, uh, increased toxicity with tetracycline and oral contraceptives. The effect of them uh, decrease with the use of tetracycline. Distribution. As we said before, it is uh, Chelating with many elements, so it binds in tissues that are undergoing calcification, as in teeth and bones. For, as you can see in this picture, it causes discoloration of teeth. They can cross placenta and so affect fetal bone growth with brown discoloration of teeth. And they are widely distributed in body except CSF. And minocycline is the best CSF uh, penetration uh, as compared with tetracycline or doxycycline. Uh, regarding metabolism and excretion, they concentrate in liver and partially metabolized and secreted into bile and urine. Doxycycline and minocycline are largely excreted in bile and thus used in renal failure. If you have a patient, you have a patient with renal failure and you should uh, choose a drug that can be metabolized in the liver, uh, doxycycline is a good choice. Given oral e or IM, tetracycline can be given IM. Uh, there are many topic topical preparations in form of cream, ointment, 
eye drops. General therapeutic uses another model is Lyme disease. It is caused by a kind of bacteria or a kind of bacteria called spirochetes. Specifically, it is Borrelia burgdorferi bur from the tick bite. Uh, it leads to skin lesions and headache, fever and arthritis. Bad, it can say mycoplasma pneumonia. Uh, sorry, um, used in, in treatment of mycoplasma pneumonia. Tetracycline is used in treatment of mycoplasma pneumonia. And can be also used in treatment of acne. Habishabab. Also can be used in treatment of chlamydia. The chlamydia is responsible for many diseases. One of them is lymphogranuloma venereum, kind of sexual transmitted disease. It is a lymph node, lymphotrophy, and obstruction. Uh, it's a lymph node enlargement, especially in the inguinal area. Chlamydia trachomatis, it affects the eye. Trachoma, one of the trachoma, the same envy. It's caused by chlamydia. Bad um, cystacusis, or um, lymphomonas, and the pneumonia, and hepatitis, myocarditis, and coma. Bad UTI, UTI, chlamydia that is causing UTI. Uh, it's very common nowadays, uh, especially in men. Especially in men. And uh, the drug of choice here is uh, the tetracycline or doxycycline. But other, other uh, uh, disease that can be treated by tetracycline, cholera, vibriosis, ahyanin summer vibriosis, it can have a stichdam nadir tetracycline for uh, intestinal pathogens or for in treatment of bacterial diarrhea. In the treatment of bacterial diarrhea, is summer for cholera. But it's summer for H. pylori uh, that is causing an ulcer. And in treatment of syphilis. Syphilis drug of choice with the penicillin. Lacking in a can of patient sensitive, allergic to pen, pen, penicillin, and then for other choices, doxycycline or tetracycline. But leptospirosis, other disease that's caused by bacteria called leptospira, leads to headache, muscle pains, and fevers, uh, could be uh, severe uh, or high fever with bleeding from the lungs due to, uh, due to transmitted uh, infection from rats. In the case of many the rats, some protozoa like amoeba or malaria are sensitive to tetracycline, so it can be regarded as a drug of choice. Anaerobes. Anthrax, the general khabitha, even sensitive to uh, uh, tetracycline. Okay, algae tetracycline. Selective uses the miclocycline, ah, one of the mishtaqat tetracycline, inhibits the renal action of ADH, antidiuretic hormone, and thus can be used in treatment of ADH secreting tumor. What are the adverse effects of tetracyclines? And it commonly causes 
it causes a GI discomfort, anorexia, gastric pain, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. The teeth discoloration, as we said before, impaired bone growth, you know, so the incorporation into the bone, uh, it binds with calcium. Photosensitization, it causes photosensitization. نوع من التحسس للأشعة الشمس فاللي يأخذون لترى ساكنين ممكن يحصل عندهم سبية سامبان اللي سلاج كما يحصل مع الدوك ساكنين والميكلو ساكنين وبعد شيء صار عندهم ها الفوتوسنتيزيشن as you can see here in this picture وبعد أيضا ممكن يحصل نفرو توكسيسيتي Contraindicated in pregnancy, lactation, children under eight years, as we said before. No, ليش؟ No, so incorporation into the bone. هذول بعدهم they are growing, and it leads to teeth discoloration, renal insufficiency. As we said before, we can use doxycycline in renal insufficiency. Now we come to the next topic. which is amino glycosides. It binds to the 30S ribosomal subunit, the S peptomycin, or 50S subunit, the gentamicin and others. Of course, none of us are talking about 30S or 50S ribosomal subunit. We mean bacterial, bacterial, ريبوزوم يعني هو الريبوزوم ترى هو موجود بالبروكاريوتس وبالإيوكاريوتس لكن هذين الدراجز they are working on prokaryotic ribosomes فما يأثر عن على الإيوكاريوتس على البروتين سينفسيس in human cells النتيجة and when it binds to the 30S or 50S ribosome or subunit of the bacteria it Uh, affects protein synthesis and thus uh, inhibits bacterial growth. So, uh, your choices are uh, for amino glycosides here. It's used for aerobic uh, gram negative bacteria and staphylococci. So, when you hear about gram negative bacteria, gram negative bacteria are common in are common cause for distinal infections. The administration, they are poorly absorbed when given orally. All are given parental. يعني دائما على شكل حقن. Injection, ما كو tablet or capsule of amino glycoside. Except the new mycin, new mycin. We can show for in the form of many topical preparations for topical infections like ointments or creams or eye drops. Well, the baki here, na kuli hin are injectables. Well, amino glycosides, as we said, they are for injection and thus they cause systemic effect and. Uh, this includes streptomycin, gentamicin, amicacin, tobromycin, and natilmycin. When I'm a topical monoglycoside, who are new mycin. There are some specific criteria for these drugs. In the tobromycin, slightly more effective against pseudomonas. Amicacin and natilmycin are useful against gentamicin resistant bacteria. هو الجنتامايسين هو كان الفرست جنريشن اول دراك ظهر بالنسبه للامان جلاكوسايز بعدين بدات تظهر على الدراكز الاميكاسين والنتلماسين هذول يعتبر نيور ايجنتس اند ذس كان بي يوز فور ريزيستنت ريزيستنت بكتيريا تو جنتامايسين نيو مايسين از فيري توكسيك لذلك it's only limited to topical use only. Regarding pharmacokinetics, 
they have good body fluid penetration except CSF and respiratory secretions. لذلك لاحظوا هاي المسألة إنه if you have a patient with pneumonia, uh, don't consider amino glycosides as a drug of choice. It's a very poor drug in respiratory infections. They accumulate in inner ear lymph and uh, to make affect the hearing all across the placenta. They are rapidly excreted in urine and thus adjust the dose in renal impairment. The uses of amino glycosides. In this way, streptomycin can be given I am IV, can be given for bacterial endocarditis, uh, uh, the uh, gram positive uh, streptococcus very dense. Sorry, bacterial endocarditis with penicillin, uh, caused by streptococcus very dense, and can be given also in tuberculosis. Gentamicin or mycosin can be given IM or IV in combination with penicillin or cephalosporin in uh, septicemia, urinary tract infections, uh, as uh, for E. coli or enterobacter or Klebsiella or Proteus, and in meningitis. A more topical application for as drops or for the eye, or ear, or nose. Uh, uh, cream could be used for wounds or skin infections, especially for staph, staphylococcus. The adverse effects, uh, ahem adverse effects here, autotoxicity or nephrotoxicity, they are very uh, common. Autotoxicity, the deafness or vertigo, and who are he goes on the inner ear. Affects, it affects the sensory cells in the inner ear. The responsibility on the sense and the cooperation. For that, it leads to deafness and vertigo. For that, it is not a common glycosides. You should be very careful when you prescribe common glycosides. You should be careful when you prescribe common glycosides. الجرعة تحسبها بدقة ليكون تتجاوز الليمت آه المقرر إلها وإلا يعني سيؤدي ذلك إلى حصول آه adverse effects وال adverse effects ما تطيع من النوع السيء جدا وتكون يعني غير قابلة للشفاء خاصة إن آه إنه الأتوتوكسيت ممكن تحصل with high levels for long duration. بعد ممكن يؤدي إلى نفروتوكسيتي. Other side effects ممكن يؤدي إلى neuromuscular paralysis. As amino glycosides reduce acetylcholine release from the motor nerve endings and thus cause paralysis and fatal respiratory arrest. Apnea on IV injection. أبني يعني توقف التنفس. The blockage uh, if severe is treated by calcium gluconate. هذا الانتيدوت يعني المضاد للتأثير الأمانة كلاكساد for neuromuscular paralysis. How can you treat this side effect by giving calcium gluconate? لذلك من تعطي الانجكشن مال ال Amino glycosides to avoid such side effect as neuromuscular paralysis, either you give it IM or you give it slow IV over three minutes. Don't give it as a rapid injection. Other side effects: contact dermatitis, constant malnutrition, topical application. Now, now to the Macrolides, the erythromycin, azithromycin, erythromycin, which is the most important thing about 
السبت والستاف والتلث ذي مايسن Mechanism of action again it binds to the 50s subunit of bacterial ribosome inhibiting translocation step of protein synthesis and it could be bacteriostatic or bactericidal depending on the dose. It has better intracellular concentration with gram positive bacteria. Uh, clarithromycin and zithromycin are more active on anaerobes. It is given orally. Well, absorption is good. Intravenously may cause thrombophlebitis. Intramuscular is painful. I have a injection of erythromycin or lactomycin. Uh, orally. Distribution. It has good distribution in the body fluids except CSF. Crosses the placenta well and diffuses into prostatic fluids concentrated in liver. Azithromycin has very long half life of three days. Uh, diffuses into prostatic fluids. This is a it can add to recurrent and or chronic UTI in men. When you see a prostatitis, and how you use the the right tracts in men, well, the prostate, if it is affected by UTI, uh, it can be very difficult because it is small antibiotics that can cross and diffuse into the prostate. So what they mean here is the macrolides. Macrolides, and also the carnival, the tetracyclines, they have good prostatic penetration. Interactions, drug interactions are uncommon with azithromycin because this agent does not inhibit uh, hepatic cytochrome P100. 450. Erythromycin, clarithromycin increases plasma, plasma concentration of the joxin and inhibit hepatic metabolism of drugs. Drugs, there is inhibited metabolism uh, with uh, macrolides, lethaphylin, morphine, carbamazepine, cyclosporin, methylprednisolone and terfinadine. So I try to avoid use them in liver disease patients. We are excreted, uh, concentrated and excreted in active form in the bile, carfomycin excreted in urine and bile. What are the uses of macrolides? They are used in upper respiratory tract infections, as a plasma pneumonia, streptococcus uh, pneumonia, uh, legionellosis pneumonia, uh, chlorine bacterium diphtheri. يعني بشكل عام في مخصص respiratory infections, macrolides are one of the best choice drugs. Acne, حب الشباب as we said before, syphilis, kind of sexual transmitted disease or STD. And chlamydia. It is an alternative to penicillin in allergic patients. How well the spectrum of macrolides will be severe or close to penicillins? And, يعني نسبيا السائل فيكس مالته يعني قليلة وفهو first choice when uh, you have a, a patient who is allergic to penicillin, first choice that comes into your mind is uh, macrolides. Clathromycin can be uh, used as NTH pylori uh, uh, for peptic ulcer. Also, it is effective in staph, staphylococcus infections.
What are the adverse effects of microlysis? They cause epigastric distress, nausea, vomiting, pain, and diarrhea, especially with erythromycin, the main cause of drug withdrawal. In the erythromycin, it may cause severe diarrhea. Erythromycin is horrible. It may lead to drug withdrawal. Very beautiful Polystatic joints. When erythromycin estolate form is used, we can add it to a Autotoxicity in high doses. Now we come to the clindamycin and lincomycin. Again, these bind to the 50 s subunit of bacterial ribosomes to inhibit protein synthesis. They are bacteriostatic, and clindamycin is usually more active than lincomycin, in particular in cases caused by anaerobic species. The antibacterial spectrum is similar to erythromycin, and they have increased activity against gram positive, negative, and anaerobes and Staphylococcus aureus. Uh, and uh, uh, regarding bacteroids uh, fragilis that causes intestinal sepsis, again, it is active but not effective for Clostridium difficile, pseudomonas colitis. It is not effective for this bacteria. They are well absorbed or the IV or IM, and they are well distributed in antibody fluids, but not CSF. They have good bone penetration, and this is important. The iron L bones. Uh, يعني هم قليل من الانتيباتيكس they can cross or penetrate the bone well they are excreted into bile and urine therapeutic uses بالنسبة للكندماسين لينكوماسين perulent osteitis caused by anaerobes osteitis هي نوع من الانفلاميشن of the bone يحصل I mean, it's an invasion of the bone by bacteria, by usually anaerobes. And how do you get to the cell? 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 Contamination of the bone. It's hard to treat and deal with. So you should think of Clincomycin or clindamycin. Sepsis caused by bacteroids or other anaerobes. Uh, prophylaxis of endocarditis. Toxoplasmosis. Toxoplasmosis uh, is a bacteria. No, I mean parasite. Caused by toxoplasma gondii. Pneumocystis carini in AIDS patients. How they Normal bacteria here not seen commonly except for AIDS patients. Jamatil AIDS, it is common. Adverse effects GI distress, diarrhea, and pseudomembranous scolitis. Uh, it is caused by clostridium deficit treated by. If you want to treat pseudomembranous colitis. As you can see here in this uh, image, you see a sloughing or necrosis of the intestine because of the huge growth of Clostridium difficile, and thus you need to treat it with uh, vancomycin or metronidazole. And it's large yani. Chloramphenicol. Chloramphenicol is a drug that is a drug it binds to a 50 H ribosomal subunit. It has bactericidal or bacteriostatic, bacteriostatic effect with broad spectrum. 
covering gram positive, negative, cocci, bacilli, including any role, the cutsia, mycoplasma, the chlamydia, even orally or IV. It has complete oral absorption. Excretion depends on conversion in liver to glucuronide and thus secretion in the kidney. Lakin, Mahakul Hare, the therapeutics uses Mate. جدا محدودة ليش؟ لأنه because of bone marrow toxicity يؤدي إلى serious bone marrow toxicity ممكن يؤدي إلى bone marrow suppression or failure thus it may be life threatening and thus بالنسبة للثيرابيوتيك uses the availability of alternative antibiotics and the emergence of resistance. Chlorophenicol is no longer a drug of choice of any infection, except for serious infections due to few multidrug resistant bacteria that remain susceptible to this antibiotic. أصبح استعمال جدا محدود إلا في حالات نادرة جدا لمن ماكو other choice. يكون عندك فد سيريس انفكشن وواحد افكتد باي مالتي دراج ريزيستنت بكتيريا بس بهالحاله ممكن يفكر بي ولا هو يعني تقريبا يعني استعماله اصبح نادر جدا ادفرس افكتس از وي سيد بيفور ممكن يؤدي الى انيميا ليش؟ لأنه يسوي bone marrow suppression could be hemolytic anemia it could be reversible could be mild or could be aplastic aplastic يعني يكون bone marrow failure aplastic anemia يعني bone marrow failure يعني يخاع عظم يتوقف عن إنتاج الRBC والYHBC وكذلك الplatelets أيضا it is the most serious type بعد gray baby syndrome شنو هذا gray baby syndrome because of the lack of necessary liver enzymes to metabolize this drug chlorophenicol accumulates in the baby causing hypotension cyanosis and often death فلذلك يعني avoid using such drug in in babies contraindication is contraindicated if another drug can be used instead Simply, Madam, عندك other choice for antibiotic alternative drug عندك يصير كرونفيكول كونتر عندكيت لأنه ال side effects ما تي are very serious. نيجي هسا على الفيوسيتيك أسيد. This is a bacteriostatic antibiotic that's often used topically in creams and eye drops. استعمل أكثر شيء استعمال موضعي. It may be given systemically as tablets or injections. Mechanism of action: It has a protein synthesis inhibitor by preventing turnover of elongation factor G. ما يسمى اختصار EFG from the ribosome. It's effective for gram-positive bacteria such as Staphylococcus species, Streptococcus species, and Corinibacterium species. For indications for skin infections, most of the skin infections are caused by Staphylococci. But fusidic acid is a drug of choice in the form of pain or ointment. Eye infections, conjunctivitis, Blood in the form of septicemia, bone infections, heart tissue and lungs, as in, in pneumonia or infections. Adverse effects, eye drops may lead to stinging or burning for a short time after use and allergic reaction in form of hypersensitivity. Cream may lead to rash or stinging. Fusidic acid suppression 
uh, sorry suspension physic acid suspension إذا كان على شكل محلول ممكن يؤدي إلى stomach upsets contraindication here just in case of allergy and thank you for your listening and if you have any questions uh, you can ask on Google Classroom or send a private email and uh, don't forget to register your attendance in the attendance form and thank you